hey y'all welcome back to my channel my name is mia if you're new here and you're watching mama mia if you're not new here thank you for coming back to my channel you a real one okay we here we friends girl we friends thanks for coming back i watch everything let's get that out the way so it's gonna be like 15 underrated hidden gems of netflix because every time i try to talk to somebody about it they don't know what the heck i'm talking about because it's not in netflix top 10 it's not trending and i'm just like how how whatever anyway anyway let's get to the shows the first movie is virgin river it's super cute it's so adorable it's basically about this woman who wanted to start over so she moves to a new town her job basically promised her like a house or whatever and she pulled up and the house was crazy the situation was crazy i guess the lady who hired her didn't tell her she was working with somebody and then you know like all lovey-dovey movies it kind of all just fall together so here's the trailer i sold my house and then i quit my job and i moved to this town that i've never heard of just so i could live in there oh no as the mayor of virgin river i'd like to officially welcome you to our little slice of heaven i obviously can't stay here i'll have it cleaned did you just put a bird? Is that a bird's nest from the oven? My second choice is Sweet Magnolias. And I love this show. I actually thought it would get way more traction than it did, which I kind of get because it did start off slow. But I'm telling you, stick with it. It's so, so adorable and so cute. So here's the trailer. My life is insane. I'm holding it together by duct tape and happy thoughts, and I'm near out of both. My divorce papers. All you have to do is sign those, and your marriage to Bill Townsend is officially over. I have to get a new job. I have to get a new everything. Which makes this the perfect time to start something new. Just one signature and it's all over. Who has a pen? Oh, I thought you never had a pen. <laughs> the third one is Cobra Kai, and we've been blessed with multiple seasons in one year. So I'm telling you guys, watch it. It comes from Karate Kid, a couple um not a couple a long time ago it was basically like them grown up and you know they're still all in the same city so it's like everything that happened after the championship after he whooped old dudes but or whatever so yeah just here's the trailer <laughs> Who is it? Bonsai! Daniel LaRusso here for LaRusso Auto. We are chopping prices on all of our inventory. Johnny? I knew it was you. This is Johnny Lawrence. He and I go way back. Oh, this is a guy whose ass she kicked. If you want to get technical, I kicked his face. <laughs> all right, so now we're going into political shows. These shows is so dope. Like, what is Designated Survivor? It's basically, um, I'm not... I can't remember exactly where he started, but everybody died, like in the government. The whole government died. So he <laughs> he was moved up to press. It's not funny, but it's just like, dang, like, what? Ooh, how they let this happen? But yeah, everybody died. He's moved up to president, so he's the designated survivor. Hello. Hi, Daddy. Who is this? Your daughter? No. That's not possible. My daughter's asleep, and I know that because I kissed her goodnight almost two hours ago. When are you and Mommy coming home? There are times when we make history. It doesn't matter. You're going to be asleep by then, right? And there are times when history makes us. Good night, Daddy. Good night, little P. <laughs> to ensure you that the same American dream shared by our fathers, our mothers. It's weird. Yeah. Ours just went black, too. Secretary, you need to put the phone down. Mike, what the hell is going on? I said put the phone down. Some kind of Mike, please, just tell us what you know. Capitol's been attacked. Congress. Captain. Eagle is gone. Sir, you are now the president of the United States. 
And now we're going to move on to the crown, which is about Queen Elizabeth. And I, y'all, I am stuck on this show. I think a new season is coming soon. I was playing, I was like Googling everything. And it's like it, like, it's pretty spot on. And it's, it's dope. It's a dope show. Your name? My name? Yes, ma'am. Your regnal name. Uh, that is the name you will take as queen. Let's not overcomplicate matters unnecessarily. My name is Elizabeth. And long live Queen Elizabeth. Don't you get sick of it all? And lonely. I do. Which is why it's so important to have the right person by your side. You understand the titles, they're not the job. She is the job. Loving her, protecting her, she is the essence of your duty. Alright, so now we're going to move on to like murder, but with like a side of comedy. Like they spit in jokes, like every now and then they throw in a little joke or whatever. So, dead to me. What I actually do think is getting way more traction now because it's two seasons. So I think the second season kind of put everybody on to the first season. But I've been watching this since day one and it's so funny. Like, it's so funny, but it's still like situations be happening. Like, what the heck? Like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> is this really happening? So yeah, it's, it's a really dope show and leave it in for 35 minutes. Thanks, Karen. It's Keep my take great. on Mexican lasagna. Great. Jeff and I can't imagine what you're going through. Well, it's like if Jeff got hit by a car and died suddenly and violently. <laughs> like that. Well, you get that dish back to me whenever yep. you can. Welcome to Friends of Heaven. Looks like we have some new people here today. I'm Judy. Jen. I hope this isn't weird. Can I give you a hug? No. Okay. I lost my fiance eight weeks ago. It was really sudden. What? Since Ted died. I haven't been sleeping. Not at all. So another one is In the Dark and pretty much like Dead to Me, a new season did come out. And I do think a little people more is getting more introduced to it because somebody texts me like, girl, you should watch this. And I'm like, I've been watching that. But I'm still putting it on this list just in case you guys missed the memo. All right. So, um, In the Dark is basically about this blind lady. Her best friend is killed, but she's blind, so nobody believes her. So she basically go on a hunt for the killer. Mm, so sorry. I'm blind. Sorry. You cut past the line again, Murphy. Did I? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, since I'm here, maybe you can ring me up. You know, you really should buy condoms, girl. Bad for the environment. We all gotta do our part, right? Oh, ew, get off! Maybe Murphy can be the face of this company. Oh, that's a great idea. She doesn't do anything except eat candy bars and take naps. I think blacking out would be a little easier when you're blind. <laughs> you're not really blind, right? She, she is. Why don't you look blind? Same reason you probably don't look stupid. You didn't know your dog was in here? You're like a stalker. How does it feel to not care about anyone but yourself? Go. She's in the middle of a crisis. Does it look like I have my life together? So watch it! I wish I didn't like sex so much. I think I know what you do. Oh, yeah? It's like the only time that you don't have to feel blind. Guess who? I feel your eyes burning a hole in my ass. I haven't been able to take my mind off you. Porn has made all dudes a little kinky. Sweetheart? One sec. I feel like I can't take no one to surprise you. <sighs> It's nice to see you again, Murphy. This is a this is a glass table, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Hold on to me. Hi, Sam. Where are you, dude? We'll run up the stairs. Oh, God. Somebody help! They didn't find a body. Not even a drop of blood. Your friend is wasted. Next is Chambers. It's a woman, again. Um she gets a heart transplant and i guess like it's like haunted or something and this is the show i was saying like i think it was canceled or not but it hasn't been announced but it was like three years ago that i watched it and i'm still waiting on another season <laughs> like 
I'm waiting, Netflix. I'm waiting. Where is it? Where is the season? But here's the trailer. It's really cool. What happened? I had a heart attack. I had to get a transplant. Does it feel any different? Can you tell it's someone else's? I just want everything to go back to the way it was before. It's just so weird that someone had to die in order for me to live. How are you, Frank? Thank you both. Your daughter, she saved Sasha's life. I can't even begin imagining what you all have been going through. I just want you to know that we're gonna do everything we can to keep her memory alive. Nancy and I have endowed a scholarship in Becky's name. We want to offer the scholarship to Sasha. Watch out for that family. <laughs> the OA. I, don't, I can't even explain it. It's no way. Intri it's intriguing. It's so intriguing. I love it. I watched every season. I love it. But here's the trailer. She's our daughter. Who are these people? But she's never seen us before. Seven years ago, when she went missing, she was blind. Mom? Do you remember any of the events that led up to your disappearance? I want you to close your eyes. I want you to imagine everything I tell you as if you're there yourself. As if you're with me. Um, the next show is Shooter. And it is... The idea of it came from a movie, of course. Uh, if y'all haven't watched the movie, then go watch the movie. It's basically about a guy. He's really... He's a... Um, he was like a spy or something. Or... He was like a spy or something. And he was out the game. And they brought him back in the game. And they shouldn't have brought him in the game. Because he don't play that stuff. And so they tried to like finesse them or whatever and he got his payback and it's a really cool show it is canceled i believe i don't think it was canceled i think it ended because the way it ended it kind of felt like the end of the show so it does give you closure i think it's like three seasons and it's, it's a nice show i love it he may be off the grid now but bob lee swagger is still the deadliest sniper i've ever known Back in Afghanistan, he held off 200 Taliban for over 46 hours on his own. He's smart. He's a family man. He's got the kind of skills you just can't teach. Underestimate Bob Lee Swagger at your own peril. He's the real deal. What can I do for you, Captain? This was written to the president. States that in 21 days he'll be executed. And that's exactly why I need you. So, I need a complete workup. Distances, locations. He knows the exact moment to take the shot, and he's going to take it from here. Broad Church. Now, this is a show that I wasn't going to watch because this is a show from overseas, and it's a little. Um, I like I like shows that I can relate to and I feel like I can really relate to that because it was from it originated somewhere else but I just stuck with it like I said I like to try new stuff I stuck with it and I loved it it was so good and I was like I binge watched it I watched it in like two days it was it was crazy it was like all types of crazy stuff going on it was some oh, y'all need to watch it because the way that stuff uh played out Ugh. I, I, here's the trailer. Here's the trailer. Your old child was found on Harbour Cliff Beach at Broadchurch. Oh, All right, so now we're going to murder mystery shows that's based on true stories. Mindhunter. Mindhunter is like crazy. It's, it's based off of BSU, Behavioral Science Unit, and nobody understood them because they're like, how do you interview serial killers and know what's going on in their mind like how, how how do you do that and you see like i love criminal minds so i'm like this is shiny's a watch but i do i do understand why it's not trending and why a lot of people do not like it because it starts off slow and it's kind of like 
it's very very intriguing it's like builds up to what's gonna happen and i'm like sitting there waiting but a lot of people don't have the patience to sit there and wait what what the build up is i love stuff like that i'm watching it here's the trailer butchering people it's hard work physically and mentally i don't think people realize you need to vent You know, there's a lot more like me. Do you think so? 40 years ago, your FBI was founded hunting down John Dillinger. Now, we have extreme violence between strangers. We travel around the country and teach FBI techniques to cops. You guys mind if I bother you for a minute? She was found cuffed and lashed to the bed. What people won't do to each other. There's nothing people won't do. How can we help? We should be using every resource we can, talking to the smartest people we find from the broadest possible spectrum. And then we have Abducted in Plain Sight. Um, basically, a young, this is on the true story too. A young woman was, not a, a child, she was abducted by a neighbor. And I can't even tell y'all what it's about without giving it away, but it's some crazy stuff. It's some, it's, disgusting it's really disgusting and i was stuck i watched it but it was i thought it would get way more i thought i was like expecting everybody to be talking about it because it was uh, i don't know it's just nobody was talking about it nobody knows what it is and it was here's the trailer i can't even uh, it's really gross. I can't even describe it. But... Oh, we became very good friends. He was so engaged with the kids, too. I mean, he really was fun. and He could give me a great feeling about myself. I was attracted to him. Jan Broberg and Robert Burstold had an unnatural relationship. I loved him as deeply as I've ever loved anyone. My brother was always a sexual pervert. He always did like his little girls. All right, and last we have Evil Genius. We got him out of the car and cuffed him. I start hearing a beep. His eyes just got real wide. A potential hostage sent into the bank with an explosive around their neck. Something like this had never happened before in the history of the FBI. For being a small town, Erie has its share of bizarre events, but there is nothing that raised so many questions as this case. The call was made to the pizza shop at 1.30. Brian Wells drove to the site where the pizzas were to be delivered. The man told police that he was forced to rob the bank. So y'all, that's my 15 hidden gems. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys have hidden gems out there that I didn't mention, please comment and let me know. So give me something to watch. But here's something for you guys. And I hope you enjoyed. And thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking with me. Love you guys. Bye.